Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the Would You Rather Booktube Edition tag and this tag was recreated and rebrought to existence by Ray K Books. So I'm just gonna jump in with questions. For this tag there's a total of 10 questions and question number one is would you rather read only trilogies or standalones? I am thinking that I would rather read this is hard this is harder than I thought it was gonna be I thought I had my answers when I was looking at and watching other people's videos but obviously I do not I think I'm gonna go with as much as I want to say trilogies I'm gonna say standalones because I feel like there's a lot more standalone books than there are trilogies because standalone books can mean anything from you know autobiographies to you know multiple types of books and multiple genres so I think the broad spectrum of books that there would be would keep me entertained for longer than just reading trilogies so standalone books question number two is would you rather read only female or male authors I did think about this and I'm gonna have to say female authors and that is because if you look at my bookshelf, a lot of the books behind me are female authors. I love romance novels, especially J.R. Ward, and if I could not read J.R. Ward, I might, like, die. Like, ugh, I don't know what I would do without J.R. Ward. And then, of course, Cassandra Clare, Maureen, like, there's just too many female authors that I absolutely love and read on a almost daily basis that I just don't think I could give those up. So, female authors. Question number three is, would you rather shop at Barnes & Noble or at Amazon, like, .com? Um, yes, okay, my answer is Barnes & Noble because I just, I love going into the bookstores. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't even have to say Barnes & Noble. If it said just some random used bookstore, I'd probably say the bookstore. Just because I love going in and having the books in my hands and being able to look through them and flip through their pages and kind of read a little sample just to see if I'm going to like it or things like that. And I just I just love bookstores, especially Barnes & Noble with the cafe and like getting a coffee or tea and just browsing the bookshelves. And I, I mean, I'll just go in there and browse the bookshelves and not buy anything, which only happens once in a blue moon. Usually I come out with like five books. But yes, I'd rather shop at an actual bookstore. I do purchase online on occasion if I can't find them at the bookstore. So Barnes & Noble for sure. And why am I still, I'm still holding my cup of tea. Like what am I doing? <laughs> what? Question number four is all books become movies or TV shows? I think that I'm actually going to say TV shows because I feel like we could fit more into them. The details would be there instead of an hour and a half, two hour movie where not much usually gets put into it. Like the main plot line is there, but not any of the smaller details. And I feel like with a TV show, the smaller details can come into play. Now, I don't think I've actually watched a television series that once once books. I know that Bones is based off of books, a book series by Kathy Reichs, but I don't know how close, like I don't think it actually follows the storyline. So, but it would be interesting to see a television show actually follow the storyline without changing anything. I think that'd be really cool, though there is a lot more room for changes with a TV show as it spans a longer point of, a longer period of time than a movie. But I think a TV show, I think TV shows would definitely do more books justice. Like, question number five is, read, would you rather read five pages per day or five books per week? Seriously? five books per week. Are you crazy? If I read five pages a day and that's all I could read a day, I would like, I don't know, I'd go insane. I don't think I could possibly only read five pages. Like, I just don't think that's a plausible thing to do. If you, if you could only read five pages per day and that was it, please leave a comment below and tell me how you would not go insane because I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So five books per week. Also, that would dwindle my TBR pile hella fast. Question number six is, would you rather be a professional reviewer or author? And I would definitely rather be a professional author. I think, now, I might not, I might not be that after reviewers get a hold of it, but I'd rather be a professional author. 
I'd love to like create a world just like JK Rowling or Cassie Clare just to show these worlds that I have up in my noggin to everyone and I think that'd be really fun and really cool and I hope I do get to uh, write a book someday and put it out there for the world. Question number seven is would you rather only read your top 20 favorite books over and over or always read new ones that you haven't read before? So top 20 favorites or completely new books? I know that there are a couple books that I wouldn't mind reading over and over again, but I feel like after a while my other favorite books might get a little old and a little boring, so I definitely think I will read new ones, which is really sad because I could never, you know what, no, because then I could never read Harry Potter or Mortal Instruments again. And, oh, s forget that, I'm reading this, my top 20 favorites, like I can't give up Harry Potter. I can't, or I can't give up Jace and Jem Carstairs and William Herondale. That's asking too much of me. That question is asking too much of me, so no, I'm going to go for my top 20 favorites over and over and over again. Final answer. Okay, so question number eight is, would you rather be a librarian or a bookseller? For me, I think I would definitely like to be a bookseller. I think I would love to own like a bookshop that has like a cafe and then like this other little area that has just little knickknacks that are book related. I think that'd be really fun. That'd be really cool. And I just like, I would like to watch people browse. Like I'd love to people watch and just watch and what books people pick out and I think that'd be really fun. And I feel like if you have like an eccentric cafe bookstore like that, there'd be a lot of like cool people that would come through and you would know that you have things in common with these people just because you all love to read and It'd just be really nice to see that and to own a bookstore. I think it'd be really awesome. Question number nine is, would you rather only read your favorite genre or every genre except your favorite? Um, I read, like, I have to look at my bookshelf for a second. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, I read a lot of YA, and then, but I also read romance novels, but I don't know, oh, this is so hard. I don't really have a favorite genre, but I do read more YA than anything, but like a lot of YA gets written, so I wouldn't really run out, but I don't know, as I get older, I might not want to read as much YA, but I don't think that's going to happen, because... Let's just face it, YA is where it's at. They have really good books. Oh, I think I'm just going to choose to read my favorite genre, and it's YA, and I feel like that's a pretty big genre, so YA, and I think I'd have enough to last me a while. Hopefully I will not get bored. But, you know, I can always reread the ones I already read. Didn't say anything about rereading those books, so. YA, read only my favorite genre. So we've come to the end of the tag with question number 10, and that is, would you rather read physical books or ebooks? I would rather only read physical books. I, like, there's just something about, I don't know, like, there's just something about, like, opening the book and flipping the pages, and I just, I don't know, I just love having the actual book in my hand, and I don't know, there's just something about reading a book and, like, having no pages and then getting to the end and having all these pages that you've read. It just feels more accomplished, I guess, and more exciting than just reading and flipping and watching a screen and it doesn't hurt my eyes as much. So definitely physical copies of books. Well that's it for this 10 question would you rather booktube edition tag awesomeness and yeah so now to tag people. I think that these two girls have not done the tag yet and I'm going to tag them to do it and that is Holly from Holly Hardigram and Zoe from Read by Zoe. So you girls are tagged and I can't wait to see your videos. I can't wait to see all your videos. If you, if all you people out there want to make one and post it, I would love to watch them. And if you don't want to post a video, then put your answers down in the comments below and let me know your answers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and a subscribe if you want to see more. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.